Wednesday. You can see in the northeast right now, those are uh, the snowflakes coming down across a large part of upstate New York. See around uh, Watertown, some significant snowfall. At least the intensity is moderate in, in, the, in the darker white, so to speak, in the more intense white. And this low pressure area is moving off toward the northeast. And it's uh, going to be out of here pretty quickly, the center of it. But the backlash from the Atlantic will keep uh, wet weather around New York City for much of the day, although decreasing in intensity as time goes on this afternoon. 44 in New York, 41 in Boston. It is uh, 35 degrees in the Capital District right now, Albany. 43 in Philadelphia and 34 in Rochester, New York. There's the southeast. Generally a dry weather story with the fog around Columbus uh, stretching down. Today we'll still have the low to contend with through the afternoon hours, but we'll see gradually the precipitation end from the southwest to the northeast as the low pulls out. This system will scatter some flurries and we'll still see more snow and rain across the western states. Here is piece by piece, first in the northeast. Again, the low is going to be churning out and heading on up, so while conditions will go downhill in Port, uh, Providence and Boston, they will improve a bit from Philly up through Jersey and New York City. Now, we're saying an additional inch or more of rain from Long Island to Cape Cod. Could be three to six inches of snow from the Catskills over towards the Berkshires. Otherwise, uh, about a one to three inch dusting uh, expected. But once again, big puddles on the roads. Be careful out there this morning. It's going to be nasty. 40s along the coast. That keeps it rain. The 30s will bring some snow across the interior. Now, the south, generally looking at a sunny to partly sunny day, really a pretty pleasant day all in all. That frontal system driving down across the central Florida won't do much to stir up much in the way of things. Information you can plan on, because now we show it on the 8th of every hour. Local on the 8th, on the Weather Channel. I started losing my hair, it bothered me, and I finally got to the point where I just didn't want to think about it. Unfortunately, just as AccuWeather said, it would. Let's show you the picture on Action Radar, and there you see it, a big band of heavy precipitation uh, on a line from about Asbury Park straight across to Trenton and then straight down uh, into the Camden area. We'll now show you the regional picture, and you'll see that, uh, you know, off to the west, down to the south, everything looks just hunky-dory, but this almost looks like a tropical system with the bands of rain, but there's nothing tropical about about it. We'll set it in motion and you'll see what it's been doing. It came sweeping up across the Delmarva during the overnight hours and just spinning with these heavy bands of rain. The good news is that this is going to wind itself down over the next couple of hours. Of course, the bad news is that as it draws in a little bit of the colder air, it uh, brings things changing over to snow. 
just in time for rush hour, especially, again, north and west of the city. We'll have to watch it in Philadelphia, but right now it looks like it'll hold as rain. We'll be watching it really minute to minute here this morning. Let's check the call from AccuWeather. It's glug, glug out there. We have the flood watch. We have the flood warning along the Christina River in Delaware until noontime. 45 yesterday, 48 degrees today. Temperatures, you can see, cooling off in the west. 34 in Harrisburg, 36 in Reading, but these are going to drop. Those were 5 o'clock numbers, and I suspect that at 6 o'clock we're going to see those drop closer to the freezing mark. All right, let's go live to Sky 6. Here is the scene, and here are the numbers. It is 43 degrees at the airport officially at the 5 o'clock posting. The relative humidity is 93%. Barometer's low, 29.44 and still falling. Look at the winds. Northwest at 35, gusting to 41. Ocean temperature 46 degrees. Here at the station we have 41 degrees, 43 for the northeast center city and the airport. The exclusive AccuWeather five-day forecast, brisk and chilly with rain ending, probably a little sunshine by the end of the day, 48 the high tonight. We cloud up again, some rain moves in late, 38 degrees, a little more rain tomorrow, especially early in the day and early in the afternoon, and then winding down again, 48. Windy and cold Sunday, could be an instability flurry, nothing more than that, 44. 38, lots of sunshine, but colder on Monday and Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies, could be a shower, could be a flurry. 42 is the high. Okay. All right, David, thank you. There's much more to come on action. The rains are heavy, and they're moving up towards Providence and Boston. A lot of this not reaching the ground, but when it does, it'll start as a little bit of light snow, and we're seeing the combination of low elevation rains, high elevation snows across the western country, parts of the country. So, again, umbrellas, still a good idea. Raincoats from Seattle right on south towards Arcata, even into Sacramento this morning. Snow uh, gear. We're talking galoshes and gloves across the Rockies into ports of the lakes in central New England, while southern New England, again, the rain hats, the gloves, everything needed. And it's going to be cool, so make sure there's a heavy sweater under the jacket. I Adirondacks and the Cat Schools, where there's a winter weather advisory. Uh, the Poconos of uh, northeastern Pennsylvania. It's going to be some slippery going today, and a lot of wet weather in the New York City area. Look at it flowing in around a low centered over Atlantic City, pulling in that moisture from the Atlantic, and it's going to be pretty heavy throughout the morning this morning, tapering off the showers this afternoon. But it's going to be slick in the upper elevations of upstate New York and Pennsylvania, where the snows will be uh, uh, flying. And so take it easy if you're going to be especially driving uh, along any of those ridges and the upper elevations. Let's take a look at the northeast on the surface features map. You can see what's bringing it in. It's low pressure area that's been riding along the eastern seaboard and pulling back moisture from the Atlantic. And as it meets up with that colder air over the Adirondacks, three to six inches of snow could come down before it's all said and done today. In the meantime, New York City itself, Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, uh, going into Staten Island, all getting a soaking right now. Hartford, New Haven, Connecticut, and uh, Boston expected to get some rain before the day is done today and uh, Altoona, Michigan, um, Altoona, Michigan, Altoona, Pennsylvania has been seeing some significant snowfall early this morning but m much of this is generally light snow in eastern New York but when you get into the upper elevations it's been coming down pretty hard and we could see uh, some uh, pretty uh, fair amounts as time goes on. There's the in fact snowfall forecast three to six inches here in the Berkshires of western Massachusetts and you can see in the Catskills and uh, the Poconos of Pennsylvania we could see some heavy snowfall otherwise they're going to be generally on the light side in the northeast and by the way around Lake Michigan we're going to see some snowfall as a low moves uh, toward the east up in the Midwest. There is a 
Uh, marine warnings in effect, gale warnings uh, from the Merrimack River down to Sandy Hook. You can see in the outline of orange generally around Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, around Long Island where we could see winds 39 to 54 miles per hour. Going to be out of the northeast and the north and uh, with uh, temperatures a little on the chilly side, it's going to, you're definitely going to feel that wind chill, but it's going to be windy and of course boating interests, you need to be aware of the marine warning. And there's a coastal flooding in effect around Long Island Sound. You can see the northern shore of Long Island and the southern shoreline of Connecticut on this Friday. It's a warning, so do uh, take heed and be aware of it as uh, you go about your business today. Long Island Expressway is wet on 95, or along uh, Jersey Turnpike, just very, very wet. Uh, it's, it's just a real mess here. Here's a radar to show you what we mean. We've had reports of a, uh, an inch or more of rain in and around the island right now. And you can see the heavy rains up to White Plains, up to the southern shores of Connecticut, Stamford, up to New Haven, heavy rains, New York City, moderate to heavy rains now. And another batch is coming your way as it's lifting onto the north. In the next hour, you get hammered as this low continues to churn and bring up the heavy moisture. Now, it's beginning to ease a bit in the west side of Philadelphia, but still, big puddles out there as well. The West Coast will see some wet weather, so wet around the edges. Interior of the Northeast, looking at three or four inches of snow. The winds will also be strong in the Northeast. Toward the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. 43 degrees is the airport temperature right now, but you see here at the station there in the bottom of your screen, 37 degrees. Mostly cloudy today after this shuts off by 08, 9 o'clock. It ought to be over. Uh, 48 degrees, the high temperature. Down the shore today, rain around the...